This video will show you how to correctly change the engine oil and oil filter on a Rotax inboard jet package assembly. These procedures are specific to the Rotax Fortec 1503 series package and should be used as a general reference. Use this information in conjunction with the specific information contained in the Rotax inboard jet package service manual. Replace the engine oil and filter at the beginning of any engine storage period. Note, replace the oil and oil filter at the same time. Make sure the engine has reached its normal operating temperature. Notice, when the boat is out of the water, supply water to the exhaust system when running the engine. Never run the engine longer than two minutes. The driveline seal has no cooling when the boat is out of the water. When running an engine using the flushing adapter, Start the engine first, then turn on the water supply. When stopping an engine, shut off the water supply first, then shut off the engine. This will prevent the exhaust system from filling with water. Run the engine for 10 seconds at 4,000 RPM, then shut the engine off. This will move the oil from the PTO housing to the oil tank, allowing maximum draining of the oil. Use an oil suction pump to siphon oil out through the dipstick tube. To properly position the suction pump hose, place a mark on the hose at 18 and 11 16th inches, or 475 millimeters from its end. Remove the oil filler cap, then remove the dipstick. Caution, engine oil may be hot, Components of the engine compartment may be very hot. Direct contact with hot oil or components can result in personal injury. Insert the hose into the dipstick tube until you reach the mark. Then siphon the oil. Notice, never crank or start the engine when the suction pump hose is in the dipstick tube. Do not start the engine when there is no oil in the engine. Remove the suction pump hose from the dipstick tube. Crank the engine in drowned mode as shown in the storage procedures video to prevent the engine from starting. Crank the engine for 10 seconds. Siphon the oil again. Repeat this crank siphon cycle two to three times. Place rags in and around the oil filter area to catch any oil spillage. Remove the oil filter screw and oil filter cover. Remove the oil filter and properly discard it. Inspect the oil filter inlet and outlet area for dirt or other contaminants. Remove any debris. Pay attention to the following. Always install a new oil filter. Install a new O-ring on the filter cover screw. Install new O-rings on the filter cover. Apply engine oil to the filter seals, filter cover O-rings, and oil filter screw O-ring. Apply triple guard grease to the mating surface of the oil filter cover and PTO housing. Oil filter installation is the reverse of the removal. Tighten the oil filter screw to a torque of 80 inch pounds or 9 Newton meters. BRP XPS four stroke synthetic blend oil is recommended. Notice, never use fully synthetic oil. Do not add any additives to the oil. Fully synthetic oils or oil additives can impair the proper operation of the supercharger clutch. Refer to the service manual or operator's guide for the correct oil selection for the engine model you are working on. Refill the engine with the recommended oil. Reinstall the dipstick and the oil filler cap. Start and run the engine until it reaches normal operating temperature. Let the engine idle for at least 30 seconds, then stop the engine. Wait at least 30 seconds, then check the engine oil level.
Oil level should be between the full and add marks on the dipstick. Add oil as needed.